Well, hello, this is Adrian Crawford and it's Walkabout Wednesday again from Williams Crawford. I just thought I'd show you today the scope of what we do. So there's our, some of our sales cars and um, we're going to quickly cut through to the showroom where um, we've got some uh, a fairly um, eclectic mix of Porsche here from all types of ages. Um, so I'll give you a quick little wander around with that and then we had this speedster which we covered in a previous walkabout wednesday this one's come in from maintenance a, a real speedster it's an unimaginable value and now i'm going to take you next door into the workshop now this is where the hard graft goes on and today we've got this roof 911 in our 930 in for some maintenance some uh, 996 KN, modern Boxster, another modern Boxster, little 356, our secret project. And I'll just show you this. This is um, a 356 that has been restored before, but not by us, and not very long ago. And we've discovered some unpleasant restoration techniques. And one of those techniques is um, just not doing it properly. And sadly, the gent has got some uh, problems. How's it going, Mark? Getting there. <laughs> yeah, any more um, misery or holes? I'm sure there's going to be some more. Oh, dear. OK. All right, so our job here is to make this good again for the customer and um, give him a proper little car to ride around in. And now I'm going to take you over and show you some other work. So here we have an, a complete 930 turbo engine. So this will be from the mid 80s. And beside it is a completely dismantled engine, which is from our project car, which has to come back like new. And Dean here is going to do all the work. He's our engine man. And what you can see is that actually the internals of this engine show very little wear. It was a low mileage engine, even though it's about 40 years old but the externals have been sat in poor condition for a long time and we've got to do something about it. And we've uh, used a technique on it uh, for um, this particular car um, and I'll let Dean explain. So what we've got here, this is uh, one of the original cylinder heads in its condition and then you can see all the coking in the ports and all the build up on the fins. And here's one we've just finished, which has uh, been vapour blasted. Like I said, decoat all the cylinder heads. It looks like new. It does. Like I said, a lot of the lads thought we were painted. But oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's it, I thought it was painted, but uh, it's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, it's a brilliant finish. And then over here, just a little demo. A couple of the rocker covers. Like I said, you can see the original corrosion. And again, like I said, it's removed the corrosion. You've still got a little bit of pitting, which is, you know, not a problem. OK, so here we've got the crankcase halves, which we've already, um, um, what do you call it, vapour blasted. So talk us through this. Yep, uh, like I said, the factory 3 litre casings, being so rare, we can't get another set. So this is bringing them back to their, you know, factory condition. And we've got to keep the engine number original, even if the, you know, this car um, should be a matching numbers car. And you, you can see the engine number down in the bottom right hand side of the screen. And uh, it's important to keep all this stuff. And then have a look behind. And again, this is the insides of the cases. Like I said, a lot of times you'll see inside and they are just full of grime which we can't normally remove. So. so down through here is where the crank runs for anyone that doesn't know and anyone that does know, I really apologise. But the finish in here is beautiful. Do we have to do anything nope, with this? No, that's exa exactly how it is now. All back to standard tolerance. So here's a gearbox from the same car. And it doesn't take Inspector Cluzo to work out that this one's been standing a day or two. So what are we going to do with this? This one, strip the box down. Yeah. Taking all the gear and diff out. And then that'll go down to the guy as well. Yeah. And we'll have that done as well as now as the rest with of With vapour blasting, we're stripping everything apart. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. And now, like I said, the rest of the parts 
Are we going down? Going down as well? Excellent. Yeah. Pistons will go again. Yep. Pistons will come in. Get even with this. Finish is un unbelievable. Isn't it just? I mean, you can see that you can still see some corrosion on this. Yeah. But the, f um, you know, we have to keep this car original. We can't just replace everything. No. Nope. Because there is a value in originality, and uh, but that's a lovely way to start. You know, once we get all the components done, that's a lovely way to start Stop. putting the engine together. Yep. Again. Yep, just like yeah. new again. Okay. Last thing. Last thing I want to show you is the turbocharger. <laughs> so, turbocharger from a. 3 litre 930 turbo. Okay. And um, tell us what we got. Um, absolutely sea solid. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. It's been sat in the garden. So that's the, and it, that's the exhaust can, side. Yeah. Right? I can. And that's the inlet side. Yeah. Oh my lord. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. And. Uh, Gives you a brave idea of what the rest of it was like. Yeah. Okay. And. Yeah. The, we're going to, well, the body is being um, rebuilt and this car will end up being a f absolutely s standard, like new restoration. Yep. Okay, okay. Cheers. Thanks, Okay, Steve. so that's it from uh, me, Adrian Crawford. It's uh, Williams Crawford, Passion for Porsche, and uh, we'll see you next week.